I'm diving into the seven easiest ways to make crypto passive income with tried and tested methods that I personally use and have tested and can confirm work that make me anywhere from a couple hundred extra dollars a month to a couple thousand extra dollars a month. Most people think that crypto's dead and that there isn't any money to be made, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, I currently make thousands in passive income from various different crypto strategies every single month with things that literally anyone could do with some basic experience in crypto. And one thing that I learned on my journey from zero income to millionaire in a year and a half is that it pays massively to act and think different than the average person does. Average people don't become multimillionaires. It's the outcasts, the outliers, the ones that are willing to try things that most people are unwilling to try because they're too afraid or they just think it's a dumb idea. Or the ones that do things that most people are unwilling to do. Those are the ones that experience the results that most people only dream of. So when it comes to success, when the majority of people say that a given space is dead or it's going to zero or it's, it's worthless, that's usually the kind of place that you'd wanna look to find something that is valuable because no one else is looking there. And I have been able to find some insane opportunities. And since the start of the bear market, I've had some months where I've made over six figures because of my due diligence and paying attention to things that most people aren't paying attention to. And keep in mind, this is all while the broader world has declared crypto dead and that it's going to zero and that it's worthless. You know, I, they're saying that, but meanwhile, there's a bunch of us out here making a ton of money because we're just not listening to them. And we're looking where no one else is looking and we're doing the things other people are too afraid to do. Strategy number one that I've been using to make crypto passive income has been Convex. Basically, Convex is a platform built on top of a popular DEX or decentralized exchange called Curve. And Curve became popular due to its model, which allowed for extremely low slippage when it came to stablecoin swaps. But keeping stablecoins stable is a little bit trickier than it seems. There are a lot of moving pieces that need to be in place for a stablecoin to hold its peg. And probably the most important and the biggest is liquidity. Imagine a small bucket of water, and if you were to take a large cup and, you know, dip it into that bucket and take out some water, what would happen to the water level in that bucket? Obviously, the water level would go down significantly because you just took a large cup and put it into the bucket and took out a bunch of water. Now imagine you had an entire swimming pool and you took that same large cup, you dunked it into the water and you took some water out, Obviously, you wouldn't really affect the water level at all because you know the, the pool's so big, there's so much water that you dunking that big cup in doesn't really affect the water level. That in a nutshell is kind of how liquidity works. The cup removing the water would be like the sellers in the market and the water level would be kind of like price stability. So for stable coins, they want tons of liquidity so that they can stay really stable. And they attract liquidity by having the best yield on their trading pair. The yield comes from curve emissions and curve gives emissions to the pools that CRV holders vote on. And Convex is basically a platform where you can take your CRV tokens, lock them on the Convex platform, and sort of rent out your vote. And projects come to Convex to bribe token holders in exchange for their vote on their pool. And usually this process allows those projects to attract more liquidity to their trading pair than it actually costs them to pay out in bribes. So that's in general how Convex works. And so far it's been extremely lucrative for me. I started with $7,900 invested and month one, the value of my Convex climbed to $9,642 and I made $344 in rewards or about 4.5%. And month two, my 7,900 was now worth $12,896 and I I made another $362 in rewards from bribes. Month three, my $7,900 was worth $11,188, so down a little bit but from month two, and I made about $273 in rewards. And month four, my $7,900 was worth $10,896, and I made around $284 in rewards, or an average of 3.5% a month spread out over the four month period. Strategy number two is GMX. I've talked about GMX a ton in depth on so many different videos on this channel. So I'm not gonna really dive into how GMX works, what it is and where the yield comes from. If you're really interested in learning about all that, you can watch some of my other videos where I've talked about GMX and go into all those details. But really quick, with GMX as a passive income source, here's how much I made so far. I started with $5,678 total. Month one, I made $70 in rewards. My GMX sort of went up in value a little bit, but it wasn't, you know, really a, a ridiculous amount or anything. Month two, my GMX went up to $6,000 
$6,619 in value, and I made $88 in rewards. Month three, my total stayed about the same, and I made around $73 in rewards. Month four, though, my total absolutely skyrocketed, going from $5,678 all the way up to $11,815, and I made $106 in rewards. Month five, my total went up to $12,200 and I made $101 in rewards. And lastly, month six, my total went down slightly to $11,916 and I made another $89.19 in rewards. So rewards wise, I'm making around 1.7% a month, which is pretty good with the strategy. But I'm also making massive gains from just holding the GMX token, which is appreciated in value over the last six months. My third strategy is the wrapped ETH, wrapped Bitcoin, Uniswap V3 vault on Dyson. Dyson is a protocol in the Sphere ecosystem, and I've been playing around with a few strategies using it. But so far, the best has been by far the wrapped Bitcoin wrapped ETH vault on Uniswap V3. Basically, Uniswap V3 has some amazing yield opportunities for those who know how to go out and farm them. But obviously, it's super complicated to know how to do this well, and you've got to stay on top of it. Dyson takes these complex strategies, makes them really easy so that anyone could just one click jump into them. I deposited $1,746 into the wrapped Bitcoin slash wrapped ETH vault two months ago. In month one, I actually lost money with my overall total going down to $1,643. And they said in their Discord that they had some bugs with the vaults because it was a new product that had just been launched, but they had fixed those vaults, you know, during that one month period and that month two should look a lot better. In month two, the results did dramatically turn around and my $1,643 turned into $2,128, which is a 29% gain in a single month or from my original investment represented an average gain per month of 5.5%. Still, I've only been testing this for two months and it's impossible to say how consistent these results will be without testing for a longer period of time. By the way, for anyone who's interested, as a part of the Obsidian Council, we recently added the Yield Hunters Guild. It's a library of various different yield strategies with full tutorials on how to get started. We also have monthly research reports where I dive into exactly what I'm investing into and why. Our monthly airdrop guide, which we've had members make anywhere from $800 to $8,000 plus doing these airdrop methods, an entire course for beginners on how to get started farming airdrops, yearly in-person meetups, and so many other things. There's a link in the description if you're interested in joining. My fourth strategy is cake. Pancake swap and the auto cake strategy is another one that I've covered in depth a ton already. Pancake swap is a DEX on BNB chain that's slowly been expanding to other chains, including Ethereum and Aptos. Cake is the platform token and it has a ton of different purposes and use cases, but the big thing is that it directly benefits from the growth of the pancake swap platform. And recently a vote was passed to make the cake token deflationary with an aggressive timeline to dramatically reduce cake emissions over the next six months. Again, I've talked a lot about cake in the past, and if you want a more in-depth explanation on exactly how it works, feel free to check out one of my other videos where I go more in-depth on cake. The big thing is, it's been a great source of easy passive income during the bear market. I locked $10,295 four months ago for 52 weeks in the pancake swap auto cake vault. Month one, my $10,295 was worth $11,000 $1,422 with $485 in cake profit. Month two, it went up to $13,560 with $556 in cake profit. Month three, it went down slightly to $13,072 with $472 in cake profit. And month four, it went down again to $11,813 with $404 in cake profit. In a quick update for this strategy, I haven't yet recorded month five's results, but unfortunately it seems short term this strategy has taken a beating and it looks like month five, I'll be taking a hit and probably erasing all four months of profit and then some. I still think long-term this is a great strategy, but I'm currently waiting on the sidelines for the price to stabilize before considering if I'm gonna double down or not. Strategy number five is Stoic Meta. I did a video a few weeks ago where I talk about Stoic Meta and I go really in depth on how it works and everything like that. But basically to give you a really quick summary, it's an AI that uses machine learning and high quality analyst data to try to predict what will happen in the future with the market. And then based on those predictions, it makes trades and deploys various strategies to try to capitalize on its future predictions and you know beat the market overall and it can do shorting leverage and a whole bunch of different rad things depending on like the you know what strategies it thinks is going to make the most money and this one i didn't actually personally put the initial money in but the company that makes syndicator put in thirty thousand dollars and said that i could keep anything that stoic meta made over thirty thousand dollars so 
So if, if it goes to $40,000, I get to keep the extra $10,000 if I wanna to decide to withdraw that, or I can just let it keep going or do whatever I want. I didn't have to sign anything. I didn't agree to anything. There's actually literally no formal arrangement whatsoever. This was just a way that I could test it because I'm a US-based citizen and US-based citizens can access the Binance Exchange and I couldn't test it otherwise. My first month using this, it went from $30,000 to $41,969 or a 39% gain in a single month. My second month month using it, the total overall went down slightly to $41,564. In my third month using it, it went up again to $45,264, which is a total of 50% in three months or 16% a month. So, so far overall, it's been a super lucrative strategy to earn crypto passive income. Strategy number six is GLP. GLP is the second token on the GMX platform. It was an early experiment that I ran on the GMX platform. I actually ran this experiment before I ever started playing around with GMX and it was a super lucrative source of passive income. Basically, on the GMX platform, GMX token holders earn 30% of the platform fees that you know the platform makes, and GLP token holders earn 70% of the fees the platform makes. The really big difference that I found testing both of them is that GMX tends to appreciate in value a lot more. So like the price of GMX, the underlying token, tends, or at least so far during the period that I've held it, has tended to go up. Well, on the other hand, the price of GLP tends to stay pretty stable. It stays about the same. It doesn't really go up as the rest of the market goes up. It's in general kind of just stayed pretty flat or pretty sideways during the entire period that I was testing it. Originally, I deposited $6,642 into this GLP strategy. In month one, my total went to $6,179 and I made $169 in rewards. So I actually lost money month one testing this. In month two, I made a few mistakes recording my results uh, on this experiment for month two. So I actually don't have any results for month two. Month three, the value of my GLP went down even further to 5,840 and I made $137 in rewards. Month four, the value of my GLP went back up to $6,436 and I made $116 in rewards. Month five, the value of my GLP went up to $6,755 and I made $156 in rewards. And month six, the value of my GLP went to $6,851 and I made $153 in rewards. And it's important to note with this strategy, the rewards that you're making are like separate from the total value of the GLP. So it's not like my rewards are compounding into the total value of my GLP. Those are two different numbers. So as my value of my GLP is going up and down, that's not accounting for the rewards I'm making. The rewards I'm making are usually mostly paid out in ETH and it's completely separate and it's just deposited into my account. And then, you know, the GLP value is fluctuating over time. And my last strategy is staking ETH to earn passive income. I really like this strategy for a couple different reasons. And I actually think it's one that most people completely misunderstand and completely misunderestimate. To me, it is by far potentially one of the most lucrative strategies in crypto passive income that there is currently. Just holding ETH during the bear market, I made over 70%. ETH has outperformed most of the wider market and to me is a much more secure place to have my capital than most other projects out there. So it's a place that I personally feel more comfortable having a massive amount of my capital allocated, which is why I have around 90% of my portfolio sitting in ETH currently. And while these other passive income strategies are great and they definitely have their perks, Few of them have outperformed just holding ETH. Now, ETH staking allows you to earn upside ETH appreciation, but it also allows you to earn staking rewards for securing the network. And ETH staking rewards are between four to 6% annually. And while 6% might not be massive, especially compared to some of these other passive income strategies that are earning almost that much a month, the gains overall can actually be much higher because of the lower risk factor and the amount of capital you're able to allocate to the strategy overall. Basically, think of it like this. Anyone who has a massive amount of capital isn't going to stick that into Cake, just because obviously that would be way too risky. I'm extremely bullish on Cake long-term, but I personally wouldn't allocate any more than 1% of my portfolio into Cake. But I'm completely comfortable allocating 90% of my portfolio into ETH because personally, I just think the risk factor is much, much lower. And 6% on 90% of my portfolio is a substantial amount of money versus 
60% on 1% of my portfolio. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, you should take some time to dive into position sizing and why it's important. I love trying risky crypto projects and risky passive income ideas, but I only allocate a very, very small percentage of my portfolio into these various ideas. I'm not above degen plays, but I do it smart and I'm careful with my risk management. That's why I always say it's really dumb to just copy me. And if you don't know what you're doing, you'll likely lose a lot of money. Anyways, that's it. And as always, none of this is investment advice. None of this is me telling you you should try any of these strategies or that any of these strategies are safe or they're going to continue making the same amounts of money. You should always do your own research. You should always, you know, understand what you're getting into. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any strategies that you think that I should have included in this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified each time I release a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.